Hey guys, Chuk here with Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Wanted to do a video on my limited fly fishing in Asia and kind of compare the two. Now, I had very short trips in the Philippines, in Cebu City uh, particularly, and uh, in Tokyo, and then Beppu and Oida in Japan. So it was very limited. I, I didn't go there specifically to fly fish, but I did bring a small fly rod. Uh, and I want to compare the experience um, of kind of price and urban fishing really is what I did. Uh, so I just want to let you know if you are visiting Cebu or Tokyo, uh, things you can do and, and what I think is the better of the both. Now, uh, I'll start off with uh, the Philippines. I went to Cebu and I brought a crummy little $30 uh, Bass Pro uh, travel fly rod and then I brought my little fly reel that I had so the the equipment wasn't very well but you know if you're just catching small trout or whatever it'll work fine. Um, I didn't get to go to um, Oslob and Bahol and some of the places I wanted to in the Philippines where I'm sure the fishing would have been epic because you can just talk to local fishermen that'll take you out on your boat where in Japan there's a lot more rules and uh, it was very confusing you, you can't do that as much um, so uh, already Philippines I, I think uh, is a better uh, choice on some levels um, so when I went to Cebu I had a good time uh, at Papa Keats. It, he, it's one of the suburbs of Cebu, but it's this little, uh, it's, it's off the salt water, but it's this little giant fishing ponds, a whole bunch of them he had set up, mainly milkfish and tilapia. Um, and I would get them to bite, but their mouths were so small. There were some big ones in there, uh, but I, I only caught some small ones and they're fed on this flour bean paste. And so it ruined it for fly fishing. So it's not that great of a fly fishing destination, but they let me use my fly rod there, which in the suburban places in Tokyo, they did not let me use a fly rod. So that's another plus for the Philippines. So went to Papa Keats, Papa Kits, and uh, caught a little milk fish hooked in some to little tilapia. It was a lot of fun, but it's like kitty fishing uh, because it's this enclosed area. Now, if I would have made it to Bohol, I, you know, in Oslob, I could have paid fishermen a little bit to take me out and I would have been in paradise in tropical fly fishing. So I will say that. Uh, Japan was much different. Like they have a lot of rules. I, I, I planned to go to Shidako Lake I had Googled it and it mentioned uh, some Google searches had paired fishing with Shidako Lake. When I got there, it was a big koi pond. And the guy that ran the little tourist business where you get these paddle boats almost had a heart attack when he saw me bring my fly rod up there and uh, tell him I wanted to go fishing. He was like, no, no, no fishing. Um, all there was was these koi goldfish. Uh, so that was disappointing. I, I couldn't go fishing there. So in Tokyo, uh, just the center of Tokyo, I went to the Ichigaya, I believe, station. And, and as you take the train, you could see the canal. And there were some other canals with big fish in it. I wanted to fish, but I probably would have got arrested. I, uh, the guy, one guy told me that the fishing season doesn't even start till December in Tokyo. And, you know, I went in June. So already that's a strike against me. But I went to the Ichigaya station right off the train where they have a little kiddie pond. And this is why Philippines was better too, because they would not let me use my fly rod. I went to Patrick's fly shop in Seattle on a layover and got this awesome Reddington travel rod, four piece, um, came with the reel and everything, like 300 bucks, had some flies. Uh, I went there, they wouldn't let me use my fly rod. You know, I paid whatever, 15 bucks to fish with these little bamboo poles with a string on it for some black looking koi fish, which it was fun. If you are in Tokyo and you're a fisherman, take your kids here, uh, you will have fun. But again, they eat the same kind of flour paste uh, that they did in the Philippines. And uh, it was just interesting, um, you know, if, if your wife is doing shopping, you're bored in Tokyo and you're a fisherman, it, it would be worth your time to go check out these little koi fish, bring your kids there and go fishing. So I did have fun there seeing these fish, but uh, then I went out to the countryside. I went to Oida and Beppu, and uh, I, there was some, there's some, definitely some charters that'll take you out on ocean fishing, but they didn't even respond to my messages because they couldn't speak English. Uh, so that was disappointing. Uh, I, I wasn't able to connect with them, but I, I did go, I don't know if it was illegal or not, but I did go to a port uh, in, uh, 
Oida, I believe, just just uh, salt water. Uh, there was some, you know, uh, like a boat. Boats were there, and I saw the craziest tropical-looking fish in the water. The Finding Nemo-looking fish. Uh, they were interested in some of my flies. I should have brought more streamers. I, for some reason, I just brought nymphs, and uh, it wasn't really doing the job. But I, I did get some bites, and um, I got some fish checking it out. And there was like a big old grouper-looking, looked like a grouper, but this giant grouper was checking out my fly. I was really hoping to hook something in the salt water because I saw some cool fish there, um, but I didn't get anything. So I would say that as far as what I could see, Philippines would be better for fly fishing, although uh, my buddy did say that there's these special trout in Japan. There's a lot of people that, that fly fish in Japan, and um, the, if I would have met up with somebody that was already a fly fisher, I could have had like an amazing adventure. But as far as just not knowing what you're doing, you can go to Cebu, Philippines, go to Papa Keats, have fun in the little pond, catch some milkfish, and then go out to Bohol and pay a fisherman to take you out on a catamaran and just fish for tropical fish and you're not going to deal with all the laws and rules that you have in Japan. So I would say that the Philippines wins. but. Uh, if you do go to Asia, bring a fly rod because uh, I'm sick of I'm not sick of seeing the fish here, but it's so exciting to see other uh, exotic fish that I, I don't even know what they are. So it was really fun, and wherever I go, I'm going to bring a fly rod. So I suggest you guys do it too. Thanks, guys. It's Chu, your friend in the field. Just